thumb on that tendon. Go ahead and relax. And now my thumb is traching the skin, and I allow the elbow to, to, ex to extend. You'll see a lot of people will teach you how to do it this way. This is wrong, and I, and I keep meaning to talk to the people, the person that teaches you to do it that way. Most of the time you can get a reflex here, but if you can't, the first thing you need to do is actually stretch that muscle a little bit more. And this is shortening the muscle. So I would, I would choose this over that, because I can actually affect how much your elbow is flexing. I mean, if your arm was much bigger, it would be a little bit harder and I'd have to cradle it a little bit. But, but it's, for, for the most part, it's not going to be like that. So I take that, that tendon, I extend the elbow, tap my thumb. Got a nice reflex. Right? It's that, that's a two out of four. It's totally normal. If I didn't get that, I could redo all of that. Find that again. Make sure I'm at the right spot. Do it again. If I still didn't get it, I could maybe tap a couple times and your muscles just kind of twitch a little bit. Let's say I didn't get that. Hold your, hold your arm there. There we go. I still keep my thumb on that tendon. <laughs> there we go. So that brings me to my next point. I was here. That was probably out of the clear. Now let's say you were sitting down. Let's pretend you were sitting down. Your arm was down here. I wouldn't then go and like stand right here if I ever do that. Because even though it's even though for the most part your patients are going to think that's creepy, they might cortically override that reflex because they don't want to hit they don't want to hit you in the crotch. Even if it's not your crotch and it's near your leg, they're still going to cortically override that because they don't want to necessarily hit you. It's just going to be it's going to be more of a social thing that happens. So just pay attention to where your body is. Um, you know, with that biceps reflex, I was kind of here. You didn't care to hit me in the face, which says something about you. But some of your patients <laughs> might might not let that happen because they're afraid they're going to smack you in the face. Because some people, like you, have really good reflexes. So some people are normal reflexive or maybe even hyper reflexive, and they know that when you do that, their arms going to go up there. Does that make sense? Just pay attention to that. So you were hitting your thumb, actually. Yeah. Okay. For this one, this is one of the only ones where I do actually hit my thumb. It's easier. I don't know why. Hitting the biceps tendon is hard to do without my thumb there. Maybe it's me, but you can try it. The thumb also allows you to traction the skin, and for the biceps, that actually matters. I don't know why that matters. It's probably some cutaneous uh, stimulation going on there. So now we go brachioradialis. That's C5. Elbow bent, thumb up. That's the anatomical position for the lower arm, like this. Go ahead and hold your arm there. There we go. You don't even have to do that with your wrist, because the brachioradialis says across the wrist. And we can see right here, that's your brachioradialis. I want to go about maybe the distal part of the belly there. So relax your arm. I'm going to extend that elbow a little bit. I'm going to attraction the skin. And then just tap the belly. Notice what we're getting. The first one was really good. These now, we're getting mostly wrist extension. Why isn't wrist extension brachioradialis? I just said it. But I just said it doesn't cross the wrist. But... Brachioradialis does derotate and desupinate. So if I'm supinated, brachioradialis will bring it back here. If I'm pronated, it'll bring it back there. So it does affect the wrist a little bit, and that's where again the very first one was perfect. You did kind of that, a little elbow jerk. But what you'll notice is people that have normal reflexes, the first or second or third one will be just like that, and if you do it more, they'll start getting more of the wrist extension. Who knows why? But that's normal. For you. And we always test these bilaterally. So then the last one is triceps. Triceps we can do like this. And in this position, elbow is flexed, therefore the triceps is out of length and position. This is good. The triceps tendon is a little bit broader. So I go just above, just superior to the electronon, and I stop right there. That didn't do anything. It did a little bit the second time. So I go a little bit higher, maybe a little bit a little bit more lateral. Stop there. There we go. Yeah. So we got a little bit of a twitch, and most of the time you're going to see a triceps twitch. The muscle will just twitch, rather than that. Some of you will be like that, but a lot of times it's just going to be a triceps twitch. So if, if you want to, go ahead and grab a reflex hammer.